Shalom, friends, and welcome to the Refuge Podcast, where we cultivate our faith in the shelter of God's Word. I'm your host, Jennifer Elwood. For the past 12 years, from December 1st to the 24th, I've read the Gospel of Luke a chapter a day, and it's been life-changing. In the past, I've permitted all the stress to provoke me during the holidays, but discovered that this practice permeates peace into the Christmas season. And every year, I'm determined to bring more people, just like you, with me on this biblical journey. For the first season of this podcast, we will count up to Christmas through the Gospel of Luke together and open and receive gifts from Scripture to prepare our hearts for a peace-filled Christmas with some help from my friends. Today, we are going to open and receive the gift of healing. Our portion from Scripture is from Luke 5, 12 through 13 in the New International Version. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came along who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face on the ground and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. My friend, Debbie Patrick, author of the book, What's Next? Navigating through the truth, tears, and turmoil of chronic pain is here to help us open the gift of healing. We met through a writing group called Flourish Writers, and she has become one of my treasured prayer warriors. She is a survivor of cancer and metal poisoning from a hip replacement. In her wonderful book, she shares her story of walking through all this with her eyes fixed on Jesus and with so much patience and grace. Welcome to the show, my friend. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to talk to you today about this. Me too. So let's focus in a little on the holiday season. And can you tell us about your favorite Christmas tradition? This was hard because I have a lot. (laughs) But my favorite one is when we pick one night um, around in December and we uh, all get in one car. I have two adult daughters, my husband and a little, uh, a little guy that's five years old. And um, we go look at Christmas lights. And there's mm. a big camp around our area that decorates Warm, Warm Beach uh, Camp and it has Christmas lights. So we oh, just I wanted to go there so bad. I've oh, never been. It's wonderful. Oh. It is so fun. And uh, last year we went, you couldn't get out of your cars. I mean, everything has changed because of COVID and stuff, but we had so much fun. We opened the hood, stood outside on the roof, you know, through the the roof and just went through that. And then we go through all of the neighborhoods and look at Christmas lights, get hot chocolate. And then while we're going, we, as a family, sing Christmas carols. So that is probably my favorite night, but it was hard to choose (laughs) because I have a lot. I love Christmas time. (laughs) <laughs> I do too. I yeah. love that. We also do like a get the hot cocoa, get in the car. Mm-hmm. And we also count nativities. So oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, We kind of keep a running count every year as people start turning their lights on and we're like, oh wait, no, we saw that one before we counted it, you know, Oh, so it's kind of fun. You could add that, that to your night. Fun. How many, how many? Yeah. yeah. And you scream baby Jesus every single time you see one. Oh. That's a great idea. I love that. Yeah, we will have to do that this year. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, the reason I asked you to help us open this gift of healing is partly because you are such a bright beacon of light and so positive about everything you've gone through. And partly because you shared with me that you're still a work in progress in this area. And I yeah. know God is healing you in many ways. But you face the reality, as many people with chronic pain do, that you may not be healed this side of heaven. And I know this is a bit of a challenging conversation to have at Christmas time because everyone wants things to be warm and fuzzy and picture perfect. So how has God opened the gift of healing in your life? Oh, I, I believe in so many ways. Hmm. I just... I believe that we, God unwraps treasures in the midst of the turmoil of our lives in ways that we never would have experienced without pain. Mm. And um, what I am learning is I do live in physical pain every day and I have challenges. And right off the bat, I want to say, um, if you live in physical pain, I am sorry and I'm praying for you. And I know it's hard and it's difficult, but what I've learned in that is to try and find the beauty 
mm-hmm. in this season because if we don't, it's it's going to be even harder than it already is. And I believe that physical pain touches every part of our body, like every part of our every part of every, every area, like our emotions, mentally, physically, mm-hmm. um, spiritually, relationally. And my healing may not be in my physical body. But what I have noticed emotionally, when you live in pain, you struggle with your what used to be, and your what is. Mm -hmm. And I think when you can, when you can pray and ask God to help you to um, grieve what used to be, and be healed in the what is, Mm -hmm. amazing um, opportunities open for you, whether you live in pain or not. I love a quote by Phyllis Uncafer that says, dance with possibilities. It can carry us to moments of creativity as surprising as wildflowers. And I think we forget that just because we live in pain, we can still do stuff. We mm. may have to change what we used to do. Um, I no longer can work, but I can paint, not good, but I paint by <laughs> number. I write, I've joined um, on Zoom calls. I've met a whole different group of people because I have said, I cannot live in what my used to be because that's going to keep me defeated. And that is a gift of healing. That is a gift of healing that God has given me emotionally. Mm-hmm. Mentally, you can become so discouraged and defeated and have depression. And I've learned to add color to my home. I have color mm-hmm. everywhere because when color brings joy and beauty mm-hmm. and, and to look around me and see the beauty outside my home, to count my blessings, to not stay in that negative place that pain can bring us to. It's a conscious decision to live and look for what God allows every day in our lives. Relationally, friendships and family dynamics are going to change. If you stay in the disappointment of that, you're going to be disappointed all the time because people don't want to be around people that live in pain all the time because sometimes we're kind of depressing. Hmm. And so find a good support group, people that will encourage you and help you. These are gifts. These are gifts that Mm -hmm. God gives you along the way. Um, Spiritually, I think you go through hard seasons when you live in pain. Is God good? Why am I hurting? Why is this happening? Is it because of sin? And I think spiritually is when our lives can change the most because it's in those times God truly gives us the gift of peace Mm -hmm. and joy and hope. It is because when we believe and trust that God has a purpose for this season and God has allowed it, then our whole view of our physical pain changes. And I think when, when we can be healthy and receive healing in other areas, our view of chronic pain changes Mm. drastically. Wow. I just want to go back really quick to the thought that grieving what was so that we can have healing in what is. And I, I have had a bout of plantar fasciitis that has been up and down all year long. And it was finally in the end of the summer that I came across your book again and I had started it and then I stopped and I picked it up again and was realizing like, oh, this, the timing wasn't right. (laughs) And, um, and I think really making sure that if things have changed drastically, like, you know, our entire world, our culture and all of the things that have happened with through this pandemic that has Mm -hmm not an end in sight. It feels like right. this is really important because we are in a season of chronic world pain Yeah. on top of that. And so I I'm just uh, appreciate your perspective on this. And so for someone who is struggling to receive this gift, perhaps because they themselves or a loved one are dealing with chronic health pain or and that's just harder during the holidays, or maybe it's just struggling to grieve the loss of the way the world was. How, what is one piece of advice you have for them? You know, I have two pieces real fast. Okay. One, I think we have to come to a place that God 
God has ordained this for our life. Mm -hmm. God has allowed this to happen to us for a reason in this season. What are we to learn? I believe there's a message in every mess that we face. And it is, it's up to us to, to find out what God really wants us to discover in this time. Mm -hmm. And then um, this summer, I went through a bout of sickness, not pain, but really being ill. That was mm -hmm. new for me. I can handle a lot of pain, but being physically sick, sick was really hard for me. And I started praying the armor of God over me every morning. Mm. So I would really encourage people to go to Ephesians chapter six. I've really wrote it out. It's everywhere. Mm. And I pray every morning that God will help me to put on every piece of the armor of God, like mm. shield my mind, protect my heart, give me the truth of my situation. And don't let me perceive what is not true in my situation. I can still do stuff in my pain. Satan doesn't want me to do stuff in my pain, but I still can. And I think when we put on the whole armor of God every day and claim that over us, Jennifer, something right. changes in us. Um, and we really know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is going to use this season and, and there will be gifts that are brought into our lives that really never would have come without us walking through some really hard, hard things. And that that's my biggest thing really trust that god has allowed this for a reason in your life mm -hmm. and and learn the lesson learn the lesson mm. i love that <laughs> you know i my my daughter has been having some mental health stuff i know you and i've talked about that and if you follow me on social media you've seen me <laughs> talk about it a little bit too but we have been also praying on the armor of God and I have mm -hmm. witnessed transformation yes. just in myself, in like our whole family. Yeah, it is phenomenal. Ephesians six is where to find it. Friends yeah. Yeah. head to that address in the Bible <laughs> and dig in. Yeah. So Debbie, where can people find you online? I I have a website called anchoredinalive.org and you can find me there, um, sign up for an email. I'm not very good at sending out email <laughs> um, because also chronic pain changes your life. You have good days and bad days. And so mm -hmm. um, I won't be one of those that send out an email all the time because um, of my life. Oh. But I also am on Instagram, um, anchored underscore and underscore alive. You can find me there too. Feel free to um, look me up on Facebook. Uh, I have an anchored in a live page there that um, we I did do quotes and try to encourage and pray for people that live in chronic pain. So yeah, mm -hmm. and you can find my book on Amazon. Well, perfect. Well, Debbie, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Merry Christmas and have a great day, you guys. Merry Christmas, everyone. I am so thankful that Debbie joined me to open the gift of healing. It is enlightening to witness through her life that even when physical healing isn't complete, that emotional healing can thrive even in the midst of chronic pain. Our prayer for us is that we experience hope and healing in every area of our lives. To connect with Debbie Patrick, check out the show notes for her website, socials, and book. If you'd like to connect with me, head over to jenniferelwood.com and you can grab a copy of Counting Up to Christmas 24 Gifts from the Gospel of Luke from Amazon.com. You've been listening to the Refuge Podcast with Jennifer Elwood, where we cultivate our faith in the shelter of God's Word. Mm -hmm.